It'll be one go this time, by. Coming to the green, buddy. Coming to the green. Let's go get him. Go, go, go. Dig, dig, dig. Go, 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 go. Get your motor running. Head out on the highway. Okay, now we're joined by our uh, points leader. Winner of last week's race, two-time defending champion in the Sprint Cup Series. He drives the number 48 Lowe's Cobalt Tools Chevrolet. That's Jimmy Johnson. Certainly has had success here at Talladega with one win, four top fives, five top tens. He sat on the pole once. Jimmy, your approach, your outlook about driving at this super speedway on Sunday. I don't know if I have one yet. Um, we all know what we have to lose here and uh, how tight the points championship battle is. So... Um, I just I'm trying not to think too much about it because the race itself changes so much that you can't have a strategy that's very well planned or that far out. Um, and just take it as it comes. If you're in a position that's uncomfortable or you see something going on, you need to get yourself out of that position. And that's really the approach I'm going to have on Sunday. Um, I'm not sure how qualifying will go. I think some of the go or go homers, uh, those guys will take the risk like you would expect, and you might have. Uh, um, you know, somebody you didn't anticipate being on the pole today, uh, and it would probably come from that group. But um, I know Chad's worked real hard on this car. Um, it's It's been great in the wind tunnel. Uh, we feel we've brought more power. So I feel like we're going to have uh, a very competitive car come race time. All right, raise your hand. We'll take some questions. we got Bob. we got this gentleman here. Then we'll go back to Al. Go ahead. Bob Margola, Shaft Sports. Jimmy, um, being in the position you're in, and I asked this to Greg Biffle as well, um, when you've got a lot to lose if you get caught up here, if you're not running first and second, is it, it's a smart move to really hang back. I know you and Jeff did that in the spring race as well, and it paid off really well for you. Um, is it a smart move to make? And, you know, do you think about, boy, I'm not giving a great show for the fans here, but I'm making a smart move? Not to be disrespectful to the fans, but the only thing I'm worried about is collecting points. And I don't care how I do it or how I get there. Um, the problem with riding and what we found last time is there were more guys hanging back than there were up front, so actually up front was safer than being in the back. And that's what we have to monitor inside the cars. And I think the, the goal is to not be in the eye of the storm and you look at who's running in the pack, what type of moves are being made, and you decide if that's the crowd you want to run with. And uh, in the spring race, there's more guys at the back than up front, so we'll, we're going to keep a close eye on that and, and try to run in the area where it's the safest. And I imagine you'll see 12 guys, essentially, nose and tail. Maybe 11. I know Junior's not going to mess with any of that stuff. So. Um, it seems like 20 to go is, is a decent time. Um, it, the, what's weird, and you, some, something's going to happen at the end. There's going to be a pile up. So at 20 to go, all of a sudden, everybody takes off, and now you, you have the worlds colliding at once, and everybody's fighting for the position. So it, that can be dangerous as well. And, and again, I don't think there is a clear strategy because in the draft there's so many other pieces to the puzzle to make it work out that you, you just need to be smart and evaluate your risk at that point in time. And you may, may go earlier than you want to go to the front, you may go later. But the thing I fear at the end of the race is if you wait too long and the caution comes out and you have a green-white checker like we've seen a lot, and you, you got moving too late and trying to work your way up through the pack. Now you're in 20th on a green white checkered, and best case, you're going to be 18th. And that's, that's the tough thing that you got to hang on to and look at. Go ahead. Hi, I'm Kevin Brandt, Trinity News and Blunt Banner in Hansville, Alabama. Um, as a race car driver, what is your biggest challenge? Um, I'd say. Uh, depends on what level you are in your career, but dealing with, um, I guess patience would be the biggest thing that's applied to driving the car and uh, dealing with your team and personal life and all the other things that exist. Perfect. Go ahead, Rusty. Russell Ball, NASCAR Media Group. Just asking you to look ahead to next week. Uh, the Slows Motor Speedway, you tested. You're supposed to win there, right? <laughs> I wish. Um, 
And since the track has been repaved, we show we end up competitive at the end of the race to get things right. But we've had a tough, um, tough practice sessions in the past, tough tests in the past. The tests that we had a couple weeks ago didn't go as we wanted to there. Uh, but I have a lot of confidence in the team, and I know when we get in the race conditions, that our stuff will will be where it needs to. So, um, if it was the old track and rough and nasty and abrasive, I would I'd feel real confident about it. But right now I'm. I think of it almost like I would uh, with Texas. I mean, I've won there, but it's still a very challenging track, and I, I just I don't know where we're going to be, and I, I just got to show up ready for anything.